test. You want to just uh, hit the name that for me, would you, just in case? Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Bennett Rink right here in West Haven, Connecticut, as we settle in for dandy between the Blue Wave of Darien and the Green Knights of Notre Dame on a cold night in the outside. I'll tell you what, really cold inside the Bennett Rink, and two great coaches, Chris Gerwig, of course, the former coach out of Trinity Catholic when I first met him, now coaching the Blue Wave, doing a terrific job. Team coming in at 3-0 and 1. Very impressed with their season opener versus Hamden, a very exciting victory over the Green Dragons, taking on the unbeaten Green Knights of Notre Dame, with Notre Dame coming in with a mark at 6-0, uh, recently coming off that uh, West Haven Christmas Tournament victory uh, just a short two days ago now, when you look at it, on Monday, as they beat Xavier with three goals in the third period, an exciting game. Xavier tied it at two early on in the third and all of a sudden the Green Knights went to work and scored three in about a three minute span to pick up the win. So they come un in unbeaten. Most uh, observe this team, the Green Knights of Notre Dame is a top team in the state of Connecticut. A lot will feel the Jesuits of Fairfield Prep might earn that top spot by year's end. Who knows, it's all gonna come down to the wire. I got a feeling uh, with a lot of these great teams, Darianne in the mix, New Canaan certainly could be a team to reckon with. How about Ridgefield? Very impressed with Xavier. So a lot of teams with a chance to uh, ride to the top here in 2012. Now 2013. Happy New Year to you all as we settle in for this one. Jesuits at 6-0. Notre Dame 6-0. Xavier 4-2. Team Glastonbury 4-2. Darianne at 3-0-1. You have East Haven at 4-0. One of the remaining unbeatens in Division I hockey. But uh, for Lou Payne and crew, they really haven't been tested yet as uh, they do lighten up the schedule a little, and uh, I think most people realize that, including Lou. He likes those victories early on. But Notre Dame, real tough stretch, and it really began with the West Haven Christmas Tournament and that win over Xavier. They have Darianne here tonight. Then they take on Fairfield Prep Saturday and another GoGreenNight.com broadcast game, and then they're right back at it next week versus Notre Dame at Fairfield. So great stretch to really test the middle of what these Green Knights are all about. And uh, for Darianne, it's a team they'll be reckoned with, and they can fly high. They're starting goaltender very good. He's Michael Collins, and uh, Luke Amatruda will get the call for the Green Knights of Notre Dame. We're going to have the starting lineup introduced to us in just a couple of moments. South Windsor, uh, West Hill, and Fairfield Ward Ludlow on the docket over the next three for Darien after tonight's game. All right, while they introduce the starting lineups, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be back with more action right here on GoGreenKnights.com after these important messages. Ivy League Landscaping is a family-owned, full-service design and build landscape company which services Southern Connecticut. We offer digital landscape design and installation. Our interlocking concrete paver system will add beauty to your patio and walkway. We share our location with our own Soundview Landscape Supply. Please visit us at 50 Industry Drive in West Haven. Ivy League Landscaping from custom design to seasonal maintenance and supplies. Visit our website at Ivy League Landscaping. Dot com. New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates specialize in medical and surgical care of the foot and ankle. They have a state licensed surgical center with a physical therapy center available for all patients. Physicians include Notre Dame graduates David and Robert Novicki, along with Martin Pressman, James Krantz, and Jesse Parks. They are affiliated with the three major New Haven area hospitals and they participate with most health insurance carriers. With locations in New Haven, Hamden, Milford, and Ansonia, New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates is your GoGreenNight.com connection to healthier feet. Visit them online at MilfordPodiatry.com. 
Considering an orthodontic treatment for you or your children, Dr. Philip Caparuso, a Notre Dame parent of four, is conveniently located at the end of the Milford Green. Dr. Caparuso is a board-certified orthodontist and a preferred Invisalign provider. A proud GoGreenKnight.com sponsor, you can visit Dr. Caparuso online at drcaportho.com or call 203-874-5400. Let Dr. Caparuso bring out your best smile. Looks good, doesn't it? But you forgot something. All that saturated fat. Why not try Longini Sausage instead? Other leading brands contain more than twice the saturated fat than Longini. Made with all natural ingredients, perfectly spiced with just enough salt, Longini Sausage is the healthier choice. Made fresh locally in New Haven since 1950. Look for the Longini label in your grocer's fresh meat section. For the last 10 years, Federico and SETI has served individuals and business clients throughout the Northeast. Originally founded by Mark Federico, class of 72, the current principals are Michael Federico, Notre Dame class of 82, and Lynn SETI, Sacred Heart Academy class of 82. Providing accounting, tax, audit, and consulting services, Federico and SETI is the perfect company for your personal, corporate, estate, and gift tax returns. A proud sponsor of GoldGreenKnights.com, call Federico and SETI at 203-248-9966 for all your accounting needs. Good morning, Curtis Ryan. Congratulations. Hi, Curtis Ryan. I just brought my new Honda in for the first free oil change and they're even washing it. We got such a great deal on that car and everyone here is so easy to work with. Thank you, Curtis Ryan. For a limited time, your first month's payment is on us. Up to $500 on select 2012 models. Call Curtis Ryan and Shelton for details. All right, it might be early in the season, but this one should be a lot of fun here. Bennett Rink starting to fill up with a nice crowd making their way in. Green Machine from Notre Dame across the way, and Darian always brings a fine, fine group of fans, and they're behind us here tonight. So, uh, Darian, the Blue Wave, and the Green Knights of Notre Dame set to get it on. A lot of action here today. Matter of fact, some scores to talk about. Watertown Pomperog, 7-0 over Joel Barlow. Milford uh, Co-op, uh, they nip Brantford by the score of 6-5. That's a quality win for Milford. Uh, Simsbury, a 5-3 winner over the co-op team of Fermi, Enfield, and East Granby. Those scores uh, reported. Uh, Weathersfield and Cheshire, real treat for those two squads tonight. They are playing out at Quinnipiac University at the TD Bank uh, Sports Center there and uh, doing a nice job. Uh, we'll certainly have a score on that pretty soon. We were scheduled to bring you that game, but Scott Duff, our cameraman and extraordinary uh, producer behind the scenes for Cheshire Hockey, feeling ill today. And uh, Matt Kleinberg probably got him sick when he was with us last week because he wasn't feeling well. One of the young guys that works behind the scenes for us. So, unfortunately, uh, we could not bring you that game earlier today from Quinnipiac University. But uh, please stay tuned for Cheshire Hockey throughout the year. All right, we're ready for the opening faceoff to get it going. Luke Amatruda will defend for Notre Dame in the white uniform tops down to our left. And guess what? The blue wave of Darianne, they're clad in blue tonight with white numerals. Their starting goaltender is Michael Collins. Face off to come at center to get this game underway. And Brendan Hathaway will take the face off against Cal Tebow. It is won by Darien. Play to their own line and then rebound right back into their own zone. And it's taken there by Winsberg. Winsberg, a good defenseman, just gave it away and a quick shot by Bizzo. And immediately Collins called upon to be alert and goal in the first few seconds of play. So Notre Dame controlling in the corner now. It's Hathaway trying to work it up the wall. Couldn't get it out. Another quick shot towards goal, and again, Collins is there. Puck out to center ice. Notre Dame off to a quick start here against this uh, Darien team. Puck is bunted to center by Wensberg, battled right back by Ionati into the Darien zone. He'll flip it across to his partner, and it's banked out to center ice by Kevin Love. Battle for it in front of the Darien bench. It comes back to Love, over to Wensberg. Wensberg with a head up will advance now over the blue line. Tees it up and drives one. Amatruda through a screen. Had to make a nice save. And the long rebound cleared out the center. Campobianco got it back to the Darien line. Free puck between the blue lines being whacked around. Finally collected by Nick Alam. Played it back. And Wensberg through the middle. Got it to Waters. 
Water's going to be a fun player to watch here tonight. Korsbush now will dump it down into the Green Knight zone. Played around by Iannotti, a little left wing side to Dosti. Dosti turned it over, bouncing puck into the high slot. Judabox couldn't do much with it. It's still inside the Notre Dame zone. It's an elusive puck right now, and it's finally flipped the center. Massey will glove it down. Popped it up by Sikors Bush. Tried to work it across. Broken up by Capabianco. It's broken up by Judabox and played behind the Notre Dame net. Flipped around to the far side. Kept in. Massey whacks at it a couple of times. Knocked off his stick. It's a 2 on one for Notre Dame. Dumas in the middle. Dosti with it. There's a trailer. Rocco and the save made. Michael Collins going down low. Did not leave a rebound with Dumas on the doorstep. And it remains scoreless here in the opening moments with 13-17 remaining in the first period of play. It's got to be a, an important game. Peter Vanderveer is here. Local sports writer. Sees about 100 hockey games a year all over the place. He'll go anywhere. Interesting event taking place at the Danbury Ice Rink uh, next Saturday that I want to talk about uh, in support of the Newtown uh, tragedy at Sandy Hook. We'll talk about that later. Puck thrown in from center ice down into the Notre Dame end. Players go clashing after it in the corner. I mean, was knocked down on the play. Slow to get up was Connor Davis. Davis seems to still be banged up a little bit. May have hurt his back. Puck thrown to the Notre Dame line. Taken off the left wing wall by Kyle Lynch. Tried to work it in. Darien in the midst of a line change and across the line. It's a very slow line change for Darien. It was three on two down low, but Eric Austin's pass was intercepted, and it's taken right back by Knowlton. Knowlton with a blind feed, moves it along to Turz. Turz will play it up to the right side more in his name later on. Hathaway trying to advance and broken up. This is Iovine trying to whack it along the wall. Hathaway will take it away. Hathaway into the circle. Quick shot. Rides high and up off the glass. Long carom. All the way back out to center ice. Was controlled by Dana Wensberg. Wensberg harassed. Got it to the blue line. Collected there by Bergen. Bergen will play it along. Down the left wing to Knowlton. Knowlton tied up in a knot along the boards. It's stolen away. And back comes Debo. Up ice the pass for Vizzo. And his stick was slightly lifted by Bergen on the back check. And it's a free puck at center. Sent down into the Notre Dame zone. 11.50 remaining here in the first period. Still scoreless. Notre Dame and Darianne right here on GoGreenKnights.com. So nice to have you with us. Puck thrown to center ice and chipped down ice by Zulo. Collins will come out and play. Gave it away to Vizzo. Quick shot, tough angle. And that's going to be blocked down by Kevin Love. Iannotti trying to pinch along the board. Now it's a 2 on one blue wave. Down the left wing comes Corbush. He's got a trailer in the middle. That's Waters. And the pass was deflected away by Capabianco, who's been having a terrific year defensively for Notre Dame. Puck to the right point to Halam. Shot through his screen. And that is redirected wide. Long carom. Capabianco on his horse. He'll poke it out by. Sent across by Vizzo to Zula. Zulo tees it up and drives one. Collins with a stick save. Rebound behind the net. Vizzo digging after it. Taken away by Wensberg. And it's cut to the front of the net and finally played up the right wing side by Wensberg to Waters. Tommy Waters into the zone. Cuts to the middle of the high slot. Spins. Centering pass. And that goes off the skate of Iannotti. Kept in the zone by Bergen. Played into the corner trying to get that uh, rotation going down low. Now it's taken by the Green Knights of Notre Dame, Jesse Rocco. And he's going to chip it up off the glass to center the Dumas. Dumas will slow things down on the backhand. He'll pitch it down into the Darien net and given a chase as Rocco behind the net. Plays off the check. Rocco shot tough angle. That blocked off the skate of Miller. Puck came in the line. Francis kept it and he scored the, uh, I think it was the game winner, wasn't it, against the Xavier Falcons the other day on a delayed penalty call for the Green Knights of Notre Dame, did Francis. Shop on the blue line. Trickles through. It's to the front of the net. Players hack at it. Comes in the line. A quick shot through a screen by Davins, and that's stopped by Collins, who's been alert here in the first five. It's still scoreless. Puck down on the corner. Hebo centers it in front. Actually, that might have been Dumas with the centering pass. And let me try three times. Is that all right? It was Dosti with the centering pass. Love those jerseys they have on. Green Knights of Notre Dame. Puck sent down ice. No icing call. Blue wave in the midst of a line change. The Green Knights putting out some fresh troops also. Long pass to center, taken by Lynch, cuts across the line, feeds it right, Lynch to Lynch, and he goes top shelf. Kyle Lynch looking for the crossbar, and it's deflected out of play, and a faceoff coming outside the Darian blue line. He was trying to go up high on him, might have got a piece of that crossbar. 9.42 remaining in the first period, and we are still scoreless. Been an up and down first period of play. Once again, if you do have some internet problems or you have friends with internet problems on Internet Explorer, you might have to uh, upgrade your Internet Explorer uh, to 
you get the video feed. Kept in on the steal by Vizzo. Fan on his pass. Got it to Zulo. He dropped it back to Vizzo. Comes to the line to Iovine. Shot to his screen is blocked. It's going to be pulled away by Hathaway. Streaks through center ice. Starts off the right wing. Top of the circle. Shot him. Matuda had to break off the glove to the back wall. Controlled now by Darren Capabianco of Notre Dame. Leads the attack over the blue line. Good feed to Zulo. Throws it towards net. And it's behind the blue wave net. Take it in by Kevin Love. Oh, he took a hard fall into the wall. Centering pass is deflected back to the line. Capabianco finds a stick out front. Quick shot. Saved by Collins and a dandy off of Vizzo. Oh, he flashed a left pad and holds on for the faceoff with 8.57 remaining here in the first. That was a terrific stop a moment ago with a little flurry out in front. So Collins, the senior goalkeeper, has been a tad busy here in the first period of play. Off the faceoff, battle for the puck. Judah Buck's trying to get it out as he fell to his knees. Now he's digging along the wall. It's taken away and played up ice by Owen Corbush and down into the Notre Dame end. Flip right back ahead by Colin O'Connor. Off the left wing comes Kyle Lynch. Lynch will drop it to Ryan Lynch. Lynch into the corner. Back to the line. The pass goes off the stick of O'Connor and back to the Notre Dame line. O'Connor has to wrestle for it. Able to play it up by Kyle Lynch. Gave it a push. Turs is there to take it away. And it's knocked back to center ice. Ionati. Cross ice O'Connor. Ionati. They trade passes. Lou with the head up with back pedal. Plays it to space. Up ice. It comes to Kyle Lynch. Lynch is going to flip it and look for the line changes. He sends it diagonally to the far right defensive corner of the Darien Blue Way. Now the pass comes along. Low will send it down into the Notre Dame end behind the net. Ionati has it. Weaves through two forward checkers. Finds Dumas. Dumas coming down that right wing side. Comes into the circle. Turns back to the hash mark to the line. The Francis shot down low. Redirected. And Collins will make the stop. It was Dusty tipping it right into the bread basket. And we'll have yet another faceoff here in the first period. Still scoreless. 7.41 remaining. I want to thank all our fine GoGreenight.com sponsors as usual. Coming to the forefront off the faceoff win. Redirected. Dosti tried to get it. Played it behind the net. Rebound is controlled by the blue wave. Comes in the line to Francis. Shot to flex off a stick and wide. Now it's back to the line to Davins. His shot is blocked away. Puck is gloved down by Massey. Leaves the attack for the blue wave of Darian. He'll play it and give it a chase. First one on it, Davins hit into the wall along the boards by Massey. Players continue to work after it. Knowlton overskated it. He's going back after it again along the boards. You have three blue wave and a couple of green knights digging. Puck taken and thrown behind by Virgin. It was deflected right back into the corner. Now it's back behind the net to the far side it rolls. Patrick Francis on it. Francis plays it weakly up the wall. Kept it on a pinch by Massey. Dosti looking for it. Francis will escape with it and he skates behind his net and Flips it around to the near side to center right. Nick Alam will play it right back into the Notre Dame zone. Blue wave in the midst of a line change. That's a pretty good shift. Long stretch pass up by Tebow on side. Tebow pushed off the puck on the body check by Wensberg, and he'll send a teammate away to the left. That's Korsbush. Shot to a screen, and a save made by Luke Amatruda, and he holds for the faceoff. Still scoreless in the first. Fast pace for his period. 6.27 remaining in the first. One of the few face-offs down in the Notre Dame zone. Off the face-off, Darien wins it and a quick shot by Judabach. That has been a weakness for Notre Dame. Some face-offs in their defensive zone. They've been giving up opportunity. In particular to Xavier the other day. McClellan had a couple of great chances. This speedy forward for the Falcons. Now we get a delayed offside here against Darien. So 6.09 remaining in the period. And it is still scoreless. Little hush over the crowd. Not a bad crowd here for a uh, really a holiday week, I guess you'd call it, right? Notre Dame did not have school today. A lot of the public schools back in action today uh, with the studies, of course. Green Knights will go back to work tomorrow. Kepa Bianco behind his own net. Over to Ionati. Lou turns away from a check in the corner as Corbush tried to lock him up. Now he's double teamed. It was taken away by Judabach only momentarily. And finally, Tebow feeds it up ice. 
played it off a body of Waters, comes right back to Tebow. Onside with Zulo, plays it left corner to Vizzo. Vizzo centers it, and it's going to be intercepted by Waters' back check. Now it's pushed back behind the Darian net, played loosely to the line. Capabianco shot is deflected by a sliding Waters, and he deflects it up into the ceiling to stop play. Still scoreless in the first, 5.33 remaining here in the period. Well, this one has advertised thus far. Up and down they go here in the first. We'll be tweeting things along if we can here and there. Probably do more of that between periods. Nick Minori just rolled his eyes when I said that. Come on, Nick, you don't have another arm or a hand? He's only got two going. This is Knowlton trying to work off the left wing. Turned back by Iovine to center right. Drinkowitz will play it to the far side, the Hathaway. Just got it inside that Notre Dame line. Thrown back out by Iovine, intercepted by Drinkowitz for just a second. And now it's back to the Darien line. Lowe will play it up to the right wing side. Hathaway trying to corral that puck. Good feed to Knowlton. Knowlton had it pulled off his stick by Eric Austin, so it slides along. And, uh, and Nick Drinkowitz uh, will throw it back down into the Notre Dame zone. Uh, down under five minutes remaining here in the period. Ivy played it behind and then intercepted by Miller. Tried to center it, deflected to the corner left side. Out there is Pardue for the first time. Had a quick touch for Darien. Finally, Notre Dame will control. They travel left to right. White uniform topped with the green striping and the gold interlocking ND on the front of those interesting jersey tops. A blue wave of, well, Darien in their familiar blue uniforms. This is Dosti plays it back. Good pass up ahead. In comes Doom. It's on the spring pass. Propels it towards goal. He got a penalty upcoming. The save was made by Collins. That was a great pass up through the middle. And a good rush there by Dumas. And we're going to see the game's first penalty here. So an opportunity for the Green Knights of Notre Dame. It's going to go against Darian's Jack Massey for holding. So holding the call, time of the penalty. It's the first time that De Brian Deneen will go to work here in the period. That is the first penalty to be called. It's been a nonstop action up and down the ice. So 10.51, time of the penalty. This will give note today in the power play. They have Vizzo, Zulo, and Thibault up top on the power play. Iannotti and Capabianco at the blue line. Penalty killers, oh, and Korsbush taking the face off. Kevin Love is out there, one of the penalty killers. Wenberg's another. And we'll pick up the fourth in a moment. This is Iannotti. Plays it down low. Also out there is Judabox as a penalty killer. There are offensive-minded players out there for Darien, so look out. Iannotti, the cap of Bianco, the one-timer! And Collins got a piece of that with Tebow on the doorstep. Tebow works it up the wall methodically. Drops it back into the corner. Patient offensive set here. Back to Zulo. Fakes a shot. Capabianco. Capabianco again. Slides it up to Vizzo. Cross ice pass into the skates of Tebow. Could never unleash a good shot. And Collins able to make the save and hold on for the faceoff. Oh, it's right into the skates of Tebow. And he just could not pull the trigger quick enough. And Collins able to stop that one. Oh, that was terrific work by the young goaltender for Darian, the seasoned veteran as a senior, right? Off the faceoff. This is Waters will bank it ahead. Puck was slapped away by Iannotti. Capabianco tamed it down. Tebow leaves it there for Vizzo. Vizzo drops it back to Capabianco. Darren moves in the middle over to Iannotti. Iannotti from the circle, back left wing side it goes. Taken by Vizzo back to Iannotti, back to Vizzo. Vizzo holds, wheels in the corner. Good, uh, Discipline here by Darianne, keeping that box, and the pass is deflected into the slot, and it's sent up by. This is Bergen trying to make a move, and had it slapped off his stick by the back check of Zulo, and allows Capabianco to wheel. Capabianco feeds too far ahead of Tebow, trying to get to it. Oh, he's leveled on the check by Kevin Love. Down to 37 seconds remaining. Centering pass! As Vizzo, final loose puck, and Zulo couldn't handle the pass. Capabianco shot, save, rebound! Iannotti poked at it, and Collins miraculously kept it out of the goal with a flip-flopping save. Oh, that was terrific. 
This is Vizzo back into the corner they go. 20 seconds on a power play. Centering pass to Flex out the center. Oh, Michael Collins is standing on his head here in the first period for Darian. And it remains a scoreless game. Puck back down into the blue wave end. Game reminiscent of a couple years ago. We'll talk about that in a minute. Joe Morrell doesn't want to hear the story of West Haven. Iannotti shot on the blue line is deflected. Puck played to the line again and kept in by Iannotti. Penalized player Massey is back. This is Lynch. Centers it. Redirected and Collins will stop that too. Oh, the Lynch boys along with Austin collaborating on the doorstep with an opportunity. 159 remaining in the first. And the score is nothing, nothing. Darianne, Notre Dame West Haven. Oh, maybe, what, three years ago now? West Haven, the number one ranked team in the state of Connecticut. First round here on home ice at the Bennett Rink. And uh, they were beaten by this Darianne Blue Wave team of a couple years ago due to a terrific goaltending performance. And it was Mr. Love. I wonder if it was Kevin Love's older brother. Centering pass! And I think Collins got a piece. And a quick wrap there by Count Lynch. Now along the wall, Austin shot to a screen and Collins will stop that one and hold on for a face-off. Notre Dame working off that momentum of a power play, but they can still, well, they just can't put it past Collins here in the first period. Blue Wave changing their forward line, the Hathaway line will come on out. Going up against the Austin line. Alam will play it around. Sent along by Massey to the wing wall. Knowlton was squeezed. Alam backing up the play. Banks at the Hathaway. Comes off the wing. Hathaway looks. Goes for the shot. That's blocked by a sliding Francis. Puck left in the corner. Knowlton goes after with Iovine. Iovine will come away. Iovine will play it to the far corner. Hathaway will hunt it down. Tried to center it. Knocked away. Good intercept by Iovine. And then he powers that puck out the center ice. Out at center. It's Knowlton. Tried to spin it along. Intercepted. Here comes Eric Austin. Tees it up and drives one wide of the fire post. Long camera to the near side. Trent Burgeon trying to work at the center of the water. Knocked off his stick with 60 seconds remaining in the first. Iovine fell down. Puck's thrown away by Waters. Drops it to Hathaway. And a back check of Ryan Lynch. And he could never pull the trigger. Hathaway gets it back. Centers it. And the amateur to go sliding as Waters tried to redirect. Puck played to the line and into the corner. Waters turns and centers it. Intercepted by Iovine. Takes a look. Knocked off his stick by Waters. They wrestle for it, and the puck free now to the near side. Collected there by Ryan Lynch of Notre Dame. Play to the line, kept in by Nicolam. Shot to his screen is blocked. Puck uh, controlled now by Rocco, and Rocco to the left wing side. Jesse Rocco trying to play it ahead. Knocked down, it's three on two down low for Darianne. If they hurry, Coisbush holding. 18 seconds in the period. They looked like they just threw a stick at the puck and no call. They're back to the line. Shot to the screen. Amateur to found it on the shot by Nick Alam. Now it's controlled again. Korsbush to the line to Alam. Back to Korsbush. Five seconds in the period. Shot glove saved by Amateur as he's tested a bit by the Blue Wave here in the waning moments of this first period with just three seconds remaining in the period. Between the periods, we'll hear from our fine sponsors and just want to say hello to our Newest GoGreenNight.com sponsor, DKM, a full-service painting company owned by Notre Dame's own Don Martone, class of 1987, specializing in both custom interior and exterior painting uh, at residential and commercial settings. Fully insured, does great work. He's worked at places like, of course, Notre Dame, Yale, and Choate, as well as private homes across greater New Haven. Well, for more information, you can contact Don Martone. At 203-843-5098 as the horn sounds ending the period. Special offer to end 2012. And come on, don't extend that into the beginning of 2013, will you? 10% off any room with a guarantee to be finished on time. So there you go. Donnie Martone and TKM, full service painting company. Class of 87. Well, what a period. We're scoreless through one. We'll get the shots on goal total when we return. We'll be back with the second period in just a bit. we got some sponsors to talk about right here at GoGreenKnights.com. Scoreless through one. As Network Group, we are committed to offering simple and meaningful solutions to your complex problems. We work hard to achieve the highest levels of quality in our solutions to help your customers meet their challenging business needs. We're committed to delivering technology management solutions that offer security, reliability, availability, and performance. Visit our website thebusinessnetworkgroup.com for more information. 
Oyster River Petroleum, proud sponsor of high school athletics right here on SportingNewsCT.com. If you're looking for good old-fashioned customer service, call Oyster River Petroleum and the Grandfield family. They've been around since 1987. Ivy League Landscaping is a family-owned, full-service design and build landscape company which services Southern Connecticut. We offer digital landscape design and installation. Our interlocking concrete paver system will add beauty to your patio and walkway. We share our location with our own Soundview Landscape Supply. Please visit us at 50 Industry Drive in West Haven. Ivy League Landscaping from custom design to seasonal maintenance and supplies. Visit our website at Ivy League Landscaping. Dot com. New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates specialize in medical and surgical care of the foot and ankle. They have a state licensed surgical center with a physical therapy center available for all patients. Physicians include Notre Dame graduates David and Robert Novicki, along with Martin Pressman, James Krantz, and Jesse Parks. They are affiliated with the three major New Haven area hospitals and they participate with most health insurance carriers. With locations in New Haven, Hamden, Milford, and Ansonia, New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates is your GoldGreenNight.com connection to healthier feet. Visit them online at MilfordPodiatry.com. Considering an orthodontic treatment for you or your children, Dr. Philip Caparuso, a Notre Dame parent of four, is conveniently located at the end of the Milford Green. Dr. Caparuso is a board-certified orthodontist and a preferred Invisalign provider. A proud GoGreenNight.com sponsor, you can visit Dr. Caparuso online at drcaportho.com or call 203-874-5400. Let Dr. Caparuso bring out your best smile. Looks good, doesn't it? But you forgot something. All that saturated fat. Why not try Longini Sausage instead? Other leading brands contain more than twice the saturated fat than Longini. Made with all natural ingredients, perfectly spiced with just enough salt, Longini Sausage is the healthier choice. Made fresh locally in New Haven since 1950. Look for the Longini label in your grocer's fresh meat section. For the last 10 years, Federico and SETI has served individuals and business clients throughout the Northeast. Originally founded by Mark Federico, class of 72, the current principals are Michael Federico, Notre Dame class of 82, and Lynn SETI, Sacred Heart Academy class of 82. Providing accounting, tax, audit, and consulting services, Federico and SETI is the perfect company for your personal, corporate, estate, and gift tax returns. A proud sponsor of GoldGreenKnights.com, call Federico and SETI at 203-248-9966 for all your accounting needs. Good morning, Curtis Ryan. Congratulations. Hi, Curtis Ryan. I just brought my new Honda in for the first free oil change and they're even washing it. We got such a great deal on that car and everyone here is so easy to work with. Thank you, Curtis Ryan. For a limited time, your first month's payment is on us. Up to $500 on select 2012 models. Call Curtis Ryan and Shelton for details. As Network Group, we are committed to offering simple and meaningful solutions to your complex problems. We work hard to achieve the highest levels of quality in our solutions to help your customers meet their challenging business needs. We're committed to delivering technology management solutions that offer security, reliability, availability, and performance. Visit our website, thebusinessnetworkgroup.com, for more information. Oyster River Petroleum, proud sponsor of high school athletics right here on SportingNewsCT.com. If you're looking for good old-fashioned customer service, call Oyster River Petroleum and the Grandfield family. They've been around since 1987.
chase when the sun comes through. Oh, it's on like everything goes. Why I'm locked, baby, to the beat get shows. What happens to that body is a private show. Stays right here, pri private show. I like a mundane, don't talk about high pain. Tolerance bottoms up when the champagne. My life come on, homie, then we hit fame. So we beat it with the deal, we get insane. You're insecure, don't know what for You're turning heads when you walk through the door Don't need makeup to cover up Being the way that you are is enough Everyone else in the room can see it Everyone else but you Baby, you light up my world like nobody else The way that you flip your head gets me over
All right, welcome right back here to GoGreenKnights.com as the Green Knights of Notre Dame make their appearance for the second period of play. Darian also weaving onto the ice. First period really belonged to uh, Notre Dame from the shots on goal standpoint. Uh, I know uh, a Twitter feed uh, saying what uh, shots on goal at 15-8 uh, in favor of Notre Dame. I went down to the penalty box and uh, they told me it was 13-6 Notre Dame out shooting Darien. Both teams had some opportunities. Obviously, Green Knights of Notre Dame had a couple of quality chances, but uh, Michael Collins was terrific for the blue wave of Darien. He's down to our left for period number two, and down to our right for the Green Knights of Notre Dame is Luke Amatruda. So one period of play, just one penalty call. That was a holding call against Darien's Jack Massey, the junior, as he tried to slow down Dumas when he was sent in on a partial breakaway. Collins held his ground. And that's where we sit, tied at zero through one period of play here at the Bennett Rink. So we're just about ready for period number two. As we have a battle of unbeaten teams here today. And i tell you what, the first period was fast-paced. Uh, checking some scores from games played earlier today. Watertown Pomperog with a 7-0 win over Joel Barlow. Uh, Milford Co-op uh, played at 4 o'clock this afternoon, and they beat Brantford 6-5. Sinsbury... Uh, they down Fermi Enfield East Granby by the score of 5-3. Glastonbury with a 7-3 win over the co-op of Windsor, Farmington, Avon. That's a nice win. Weathersfield surprises Cheshire 5-1 as the Rams still looking for their first win of the season. Face off to come at center ice. Hathaway to take it with T-ball. Pair of 21. Both teams starting at even strength here in the second period of play. It is scoreless as we get underway with... Darien defending and moving from left to right in those blue uniforms with the white numerals. They're bent across the way to our right and the Green Knights of Notre Dame on the far side to our left. Notre Dame, of course, defending right to left. Here comes Vizzo on a steal into the corner. Vizzo looks, tried to center it, deflects right back to Vizzo, plays it to the line. Capabianco drives one, redirected on the doorstep. Collins will stop and they wrap at it. Puck squirted free, but Collins able to cover long enough to get the whistle with Vizzo and Zulo wrapping at that puck on the doorstep. So, it remains scoreless here in the first 30 seconds of period number two. Special thanks to our GoGreenNight.com sponsors and, of course, uh, our newest one, Notre Dame's Don Martone and his painting company, DKM Painting, serving the greater New Haven area. Off the faceoff, puck controlled and moved up ice. Capabianco, first one on it for Notre Dame on the far wall. 
Knocked off his stick by Judah Box as he was plowed into on the far side by Korsbush. Now off the left wing, Dumas for the Green Knights. Dumas trying to drive it behind the net. Alam able to knock him off the puck. Got some help on the back check from Korsberg. Puck comes back to Dumas. Now it's knocked to Dosti into the corner of the Rocco. Back behind the Dosti. Dosti looks. Pass. Quick shot. And that got up into the body of uh, the defenseman Alam. It finally drops free. Centering pass by Dosti knocked down. Rocco has it. Rocco tried to center it. And that's deflected away. Nicolam will play it up the wall, and finally the Blue Wave will send it back down into the Notre Dame end. In the early moments of period number two, Blue Wave in the midst of a line change. Long pass up ahead. Dumas can't handle the pass. Handcuffed him a little bit. He stays on side, centers it to Dosti, and it's knocked away. Dosti controls the puck, and we've got a penalty upcoming. It's going to be called by the official out here at center. A cross-check penalty going to go against the Green Knights of Notre Dame. It'll give the Blue Wave their first opportunity as Matthew Dosti will come to the sin bin. And that's the first one against the Green Knights. Comes here in the second period. Dosti to sit, cross-checking the call on the offensive end. Time of the penalty, 90 seconds into the period. So the first power play chance for the Blue Wave. Hathaway to take this face off against Zulo. Puck comes to the line and it's past the outstretched glove of Wensberg and down into the Darien zone. Krasinskowicz from behind the net will set the power play for the Blue Wave. They play it out the center, intended for Hathaway, intercepted by Zula, who's always hustling, and he'll drive it right back down into the Darien zone. Dana Wensberg, the senior defenseman, plays it along into the corner to Bergen. Back to Wensberg, and back it comes. Off the right, Bergen. Wrestled down by Zulo, and he's going to go for a penalty. Both officials have the arms up on that one, and we're going to see a two-man advantage now for the blue wave of Darianne. Zulo, with a shake of the head, will go to the sin bin, and he'll take a seat. And they're going to get 125 of two-man advantage time. That'll be a high stick on Zulo. And what an opportunity for Darianne here in this scoreless game. 2.05, time of the infraction. So Darianne with a two-man advantage. Wensberg will slide to the middle. Takes a look. Will pass it along left wing side. Turns back it goes. Playing catch with Wensberg. Now they move it along into the corner left side to Korsbush. Korsbush will center it in front. Quick shot, Amatuda. Able to stop it and then it's lofted down ice by Capabianco. Dudabox on the doorstep with the opportunity for Darianne. 60 seconds remaining of two-man advantage time for Darien. The Blue Wave advance up by it's Wensberg across. Wensberg slips through Iannotti to the backboards. Plays it to the corner. That's Korsbush. Plays it back to Wensberg, and they tap it to water. It's skipped over his stick. Korsberg on it now. He's tied up by Iannotti, and they move it to Waters. Waters into the circle. Shooting lane. Quick shot. Amatuda made the stay with the blocker and cleared it back to the corner. Now comes back to the line. Waters will take the feed. Quick shot from the dot. Amatuda got a piece, deflects it out of play, and we'll have a face-off with 28 seconds remaining on the Darien. Two-man advantage here. Scoreless in the second period of play. Face-off coming to the right-hand side of Luke Amatuda. Off the face-off, a puck sent down ice by the Green Knights. Eric Austin with a face-off win. That was an important one. Jack Massey will collect. Pass on to the left wing side. Love will send it across and off the skate of Burgeon, and it's going to be collected by Iannotti and played back to center. Hathaway will knock it down. Pass off to the right wing side to Knowlton. He's into the zone. Knowlton played it to the back wall. Capibianco gets to it, played it around. Love will keep it in. One penalized player is back for the Green Knights. It's Dosti onto the ice. It's now a five-on-four advantage for Darien for 30 seconds. That shot blocked away by Iannotti as Hathaway tried to force it through and it's sent down by the Green Knights. Collins, a story of the first period with 13 big saves, leaves it. Bergen can't get to that puck. Knowlton will collect it. And Jackie Knowlton, the senior, will wind it up for Darien. Soft pass to the middle, intercepted by Dosti. Puck to the far side. Massey plays it along to the Notre Dame line. It's poked up ice and here comes a break across. Trying to move to the backhand side is Vizzo and he is tied up along the wall and knocked down by Hathaway. Players continue to tug after the puck taken by Love. Carries behind his own net. Harassed by Vizzo. Puck stolen away by Vizzo. Penalized player. Zulo is 
out of the sin bin. Both teams back at even strength. So good job by Notre Dame to kill off the two-man disadvantage. That could be a game changer right there. Puck lofted by Hathaway up ice. It skips. Pass the defenseman. Davin shot saved by Emma Truda on the try by Trent Bergen. That was his best save of the evening. And the puck sent down ice. No icing call. Puck control. Centering pass. Zulu misfired on his shot attempt off the feed from Vizzo. Onto the ice. Darian's big defenseman. Krasinskowicz played it down into the Three night end, the trailer with a shot. That's Miller blocked away. Free puck to the front of the net, and Amateur might have got a piece on a quick shot off the stick of Pardue, and it's sent back out to center ice. Pick up by Wensberg, wheels away from Lynch, plays it back into the Notre Dame zone. We play just beyond five minutes here in the second period, and we are still scoreless. Two unbeaten teams. Here's Vizzo trying to break off the wing now. Vizzo will slow it down, looks for the trailer. Lynch missed the mark. The puck slides all the way to center ice. Waiting for it was Korsbush, plays at the waters, across a little toe drag, and he's broken up by Francis, and the puck flipped back to center by Iovine. From center ice, right, Judabox will send it halfway into that Notre Dame zone. Played up the left wall by Capabianco. Whacked off the puck as Ryan Lynch, and Wensberg will control. Little toe drag away from Kyle Lynch with a nifty move. Long shot off in the blue line, and Amatruda had to be alert to make that save. Waters on the rebound, the Judabox in the left corner, plays it back to the near side. Chased down by Ryan Lynch of the Green Knights. Plays it past the four check of Waters to the line. It was deflected by Judah Box and collected by Eric Austin. Austin into the high slot. Had a bouncing puck. Tried to move it to Lynch. Was knocked off their sticks, respectively. And back come the Blue Wave with a potential three on two. Puck into the corner. And it's going to be broken up as they try to find Waters in the middle. As Tuz couldn't get that puck through. Back behind the Notre Dame net. Capabianco on it. Capabianco sails a long pass. Onside. Dumas breaking in alone. He shoots. And a save by Collins. And they got the stick on it. Yeah, Dossi is a trailer too. Back the other way comes Hathaway for Darianne. Into the circle. The pass out front. And that's knocked away by the back check of Rocco. As he guarded the front of the net nicely. Now the puck into the corner to Knowlton. Fast pace period. Knowlton. Back to Hathaway. Hathaway. Draws some company, centering pass in the skates of Iannotti, deflected up to Dosti, and he leads the Notre Dame attack. The pass to Dumas, he's on side of the wing, got a trailer, goes for the shot, missed to the short side. Puck will carry him all the way back down to the Notre Dame zone, and chased down by Colin O'Connor. He's going to be double teamed, Bergen gets to it, flipped it over the stick of Miller, and is taken by Iannotti of Notre Dame. Curls in his own defensive corner, and slides behind the net. Stops on a dime with 7.42 remaining in the second period. Still scoreless, Notre Dame and Darien. Puck played into the corner to O'Connor, trying to play it up the wall. Purdue was there to steal it away. Purdue was knocked down by O'Connor, and play continues on. Comes back to O'Connor. O'Connor will wrap it around the boards. Dosti trying to chip it out. He does. The center taken by Purdue. Headman passes up to Miller. Miller from center plays it right back into the Notre Dame zone as the blue wave in the midst of a line change. Iannotti comes out, cuts in front of his own net, and now to the left wing side of the blue line. Long feed, wanted to spring Dumas, pass too far ahead, and they were going to get an icing call instead against Notre Dame. 7.07 remaining in the second, and it remains scoreless. Just want to mention the Business Network Group and our good friend Jeff Grandy, class of 1990. Check him out online at the businessnetworkgroup.com. Jeff Grandy, Business Network Group. Network Integration Solution Company offering sales, service, and support. These two teams playing at their best here tonight. Still scoreless in the second period. Icing call against the Green Knights of Notre Dame. Gives us a chance to say hello to our good friend Dr. Philip Caparuso. Considering orthodontic treatment for your children? Well, check out Dr. Philip Caparuso, a Notre Dame parent of four, conveniently located at the end of the Milford Green, which end? Dr. Caparuso is a board certified orthodontist and a preferred Invisalign provider. And check him out. Call him, 203-874-5400. Three Knights controlling. Banked ahead to Tebow. Up ice for Vizzo, and then that's going to be intercepted by Kevin Love, who's had a solid game. Gave it right back to Francis. Love and Francis just collided, and the puck slides in on Collins, and he'll cover a little snow thrown up into the face of Collins by Vizzo. Waters will come over and give him a push. Corsbush there, too, and the officials have something to say to Mr. Vizzo. 
They're not going to penalize him here, but uh, they'll give him a bit of a warning with 6.45 remaining in the period. Two o'clock. Just found a, just got a word that the Notre Dame Fairfield prep game has been moved from one until two o'clock on Saturday. So just to let you know. And we also have a concert uh, Saturday night on GoGreenNights.com. So we go from the high-paced action of ice hockey to the nice mellow tones of the Notre Dame alumni band. Looking forward to that. It's always a great occasion at their brand new uh, auditorium. Just a beautiful, beautiful facility. Part of the renovations at Notre Dame. This is Love, the control. Tried to play it outside the line. He did. Taken by Tebow. He got wrapped up. Zulo will steal it away. Able to pinch it along. Gave it a push and stolen by Love. Played back to the Notre Dame line. Falling down is Ivy. Version off the wing. He looks in front. And a sliding defensive effort by Capabianco. And we're going to get a penalty out of it all. We're going to see a roughing call here. It's behind the play. It's a penalty behind the play, I believe. And it's going to go on Zulo for the second time tonight. Second time in the period, Zulo will go to the box. This time for roughing. And it will give Darianne another power play opportunity. Their third of the second period. They are 0 for 2. And that includes a two-man advantage at one point. Good look at Zulo as he went into the penalty box a moment ago. So time of this penalty will be 8 minutes and uh, 48 seconds. So Darianne with another chance in the power play. Notre Dame, by the way, had a power play opportunity back in the first. Oh, that puck skipped in on Collins. And it tricked him a little bit. Had to be nifty. That would have been disastrous. Virgin down the wing, plays across ice to Hathaway. Hathaway's going to slow it down into the corner and calculate his next move. Moves it to Knowlton, back to Hathaway. Hathaway to the line left side. Tuz will play it back. Hathaway to control it's in his skates. Back to Tuz in the middle, tees it up, drives one. Just wide of the net. Knowlton controls, back to Hathaway to Knowlton. Knowlton controlling in the corner, back to Hathaway. Hathaway to the blue line, left side. Tuz will play it along to Wensberg. A one-timer! Whistler just wide of the goal. Yet some traffic in front. Back to the line to Tuz again. Tuz plays it along left side. Hathaway in the circle shot goes high up off the glass. Long carom out to the right point. Wensberg to control. Wensberg will slip a pass along the board, right wing. Knowlton drops it to the corner of the Virgin. Virgin being guarded there by Capabianco over to Hathaway. Back behind it goes the Virgin. Virgin looks in front, nothing going on. Back to the point to Winsberg. Shot to a screen. That's blocked by Eric Austin. Knocked the center by Dosty. Nearly had a breakaway. Winsberg carries back in, but Darianne looking for a line change. They're offside. And we'll have a faceoff upcoming with 5.54 remaining in the period. 42 seconds on this Darianne power play in a scoreless game second period. I want to say hello to our good friend Ed D. Marse at Curtis Ryan Honda, the oldest Honda dealership in Connecticut, and a proud sponsor right here in GoGreenNights.com. I bought a couple of cars from our good friend Ed D. Marse at the Curtis Ryan Honda. Service is spectacular. The prices are right, and the cars are awesome. What more can you say? Puck flip the center. Battle for it. Vizzo nearly came that bouncing puck and had a break. Taken by Kevin Love, however, of Darien. Up on the right wing side, it goes to Corsbrook. Moves it over the checkered line at center, but turned back by the pesky play of Vizzo. And Darianne's going to have to regroup with 10 seconds remaining on their power play opportunity. So here they come again. Massey to lead the attack. Lugs it along that left wing side. Gives it a push and a chase of the backboard. Wrapped up by Capabianco. Zulo ready to come out of the sin bin. Both teams at even strength now with 4-11 remaining in period number two. Ionati steals. Rambles down the wing. Chasing a loose puck. Love is there with him. Love steals it away from Ionati and wraps it around to the near side. Vizzo waiting for it. Vizzo tried to play it along the boards. Knocked off his stick. It comes in the line. Capabianco shot. Well, ricochet off the skate of Robbie Judabuck. Capabianco keeps it at the line. Plays to the corner. Rocco tried to center it. Knocked off his stick. Far side, Zula. Back to the line, Ionati. Shot through his screen. It's going to be knocked down. Just out of the reach of Vizzo and flipped up ice by Owen Korsbush back into the Notre Dame end. Down to three and a half minutes remaining here in the period. We're still scoreless. This is Eric Austin to the corner for Notre Dame. It's been a grinding affair. Up and down they go. Goaltending's been spectacular at both ends. Here's a rush by Miller across the line. Plays it to the corner to Waters. Centering pass and deflects off the stick of Craig Miller. Puck collected by Ionati. 
played it up the boards of Vizzo. Vizzo trying to get it out, kept in along the wall and played back behind the Notre Dame net. Capabianco wraps it to the near side, and that's going to slide all the way down. Nice for an icing call. Gives us a chance to say hello to uh, good friends at Federico and Setti, a full-service accounting specialist. Uh, they certainly have helped me out with saving some cash on my taxes over the last couple of years. So whether it's a corporate accounting or personal tax preparation that you need, Federico and Setti are your experts, led by ND graduates Michael of 82 and Mark of 72. Federico's working alongside Lynn Setti, graduate of Sacred Heart. Give them a call at 203-248-9966. Down under three minutes remaining here in the period. Darianne has really carried the play on the strength of power play opportunities here in the second. Notre Dame has been forced to kill off three penalties, including a two-man advantage. But Darianne, shot by Francis, is deflected. Taken by Eric Austin of the Green Knights into the right corner. Notre Dame with an offensive flurry. Play, pay, play it back to the line to O'Connor. Slips it through, and it's deflected wide off of Collins. On it there is Lynch, plays it to Kyle Lynch. Kyle Lynch into the far corner, plays it back behind, intended for Eric Austin. First one, two, it is low, and he plays it to the line. With some help, they propel it to center. Francis to settle it down. Comes all the way across ice with the feed. Ryan Lynch had it tangled in his skates, now advances into the Darien zone. Has some room, the shot to a screen, blocker stopped by Collins. Lynch on it in the corner, tried to play it up the wall, intended perhaps for his... Uh, brother there, Kyle Lynch, but it's back down into the Notre Dame zone. On it there, Patrick Francis. He's being harassed. Double team now on the four check. It comes in a line, kept in by low, and he plays it to the far side to Hathaway with 149 remaining here in the second. We are still scoreless. Hathaway to control along that half wall. Tied up by O'Connor. Puck scored three to Knowlton. Knowlton from behind that goal line extended. Tied up in the corner by Rocco. Puck comes three to Hathaway. Hathaway to the right corner. A little dance trying to move away from O'Connor. Connor stays right with him. Hathaway brings it deeper into the corner. Now comes up the right wall. Plays it to Knowlton on the cycle. Knowlton played it back behind the Virgin. Slips it back to Hathaway. Guarded by O'Connor. Hathaway centering pass. And O'Connor just got enough of that. There was an open player on the doorstep. Puck played to the line. Whacked out a couple of times by Nicolam. He'll keep it in. On the, on the backhand side now. Knowlton plays it back behind. Centering feed by Virgin. Deflected. And Rocco finally able to get possession for the Green Knights and play it up to Dumas. Knocked off his stick and allowed him to control. Plays it smartly across right side to Massey. Under a minute to go in the second, still scoreless. Massey will loft it down into the Notre Dame end of the far corner. On it there, Darren Capabianco taking off his stick. Capabianco got it to Rocco and then is golfed down ice by Dumas and that's going to go the length of the ice for an icing call against the Green Knights with 43 seconds remaining in the period. Also want to say hello to our good friends at Ivy League Landscaping. They've been with us for all time. Ivy League Landscaping. Uh, certainly uh, some great folks. Justin Grandy, class of 1991. Just a call away or visit them online at ivyleaguelandscaping.com. Let Ivy League Landscaping help you. Uh, probably with snow removal now, right? I mean, you're probably not planting anything, but uh, in the springtime, call them for all that. They do walkways and a whole bunch more. So Ivy League Landscaping. Zulo, up ice. Left side, Vizzo. He's in. 30 seconds in the period. Shot safe. Score! Vizzo goes five hole. It breaks off of Collins and in. And Notre Dame will take a 1-0 lead here late in the second period. A heavy shot by Vizzo. And it breaks right through Collins. And that's a shame because he's played a terrific game. And that's one he'd like to have back. Time of the goal will be 14-31 of the second period. And the Green Knights... We'll take the lead. Here comes the announcement on the goal. Lou Iannotti, the helper. 14-31 time of the goal. Notre Dame takes a 1-0 lead. So Vizzo with the shot through his screen, and it fooled Collins. Iannotti shot from the blue line. That's going to be gloved down by Wensberg. Able to tickle it through. Zula leads the attack. Pass up on the right wing to Korsbush. Five seconds remaining in the period. Shot towards goal is blocked. Puck to the line off the glove of Love, and that is going to do it. We'll get the shots on goal before we turn it over to our pre-recorded commercial messages. Here's the saves. Notre Dame with 21 shots on goal. Four saves by Amatruda, so Darien with a total of 10 shots on goal. Through two periods of play, Notre Dame 21 shots on goal, Darien with 10 
Green Knights of Notre Dame with a 1-0 lead. They scored 14-31 of the second. The goal by Billy Vizzo with the assist going to Lou Iannotti. And the Green Knights lead it through to by the score of 1-0. Uh, Darian uh, is 0 for 3 on their power play tries. That is a uh, big, big part of today's game. They had that two-man advantage uh, for a lengthy period of time uh, for nearly a, a minute 35 or so and uh, came up empty. Notre Dame is 0 for 1 on their power play tries. All right, with all that being said, we'll take a break and we'll be back with the exciting third period right here on GoGreenKnights.com after these messages. New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates specialize in medical and surgical care of the foot and ankle. They have a state-licensed surgical center with a physical therapy center available for all patients. Physicians include Notre Dame graduates David and Robert Novicki, along with Martin Pressman, James Krantz, and Jesse Parks. They are affiliated with the three major New Haven area hospitals, and they participate with most health insurance carriers. With locations in New Haven, Hamden, Milford, and Ansonia, New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates is your GoGreenNight.com connection to healthier feet. Visit them online at MilfordPodiatry.com. Considering an orthodontic treatment for you or your children, Dr. Philip Caparuso, a Notre Dame parent of four, is conveniently located at the end of the Milford Green. Dr. Caparuso is a board-certified orthodontist and a preferred Invisalign provider. A proud GoGreenKnight.com sponsor, you can visit Dr. Caparuso online at drcaportho.com or call 203-874-5400. Let Dr. Caparuso bring out your best smile. Ivy League Landscaping is a family-owned, full-service design and build landscape company which services Southern Connecticut. We offer digital landscape design and installation. Our interlocking concrete paver system will add beauty to your patio and walkway. We share our location with our own Soundview Landscape Supply. Please visit us at 50 Industry Drive in West Haven. Ivy League Landscaping from custom design to seasonal maintenance and supplies. Visit our website at ivyleaguelandscaping.com. Looks good, doesn't it? But you forgot something. All that saturated fat. Why not try Longini Sausage instead? Other leading brands contain more than twice the saturated fat than Longini. Made with all natural ingredients, perfectly spiced with just enough salt, Longini Sausage is the healthier choice. Made fresh locally in New Haven since 1950. Look for the Longini label in your grocer's fresh meat section. For the last 10 years, Federico and SETI has served individuals and business clients throughout the Northeast. Originally founded by Mark Federico, class of 72, the current principals are Michael Federico, Notre Dame class of 82, and Lynn SETI, Sacred Heart Academy class of 82. Providing accounting, tax, audit, and consulting services, Federico and SETI is the perfect company for your personal, corporate, estate, and gift tax returns. A proud sponsor of GoldGreenKnights.com. Call Federico and Seti at 203-248-9966 for all your accounting needs. Good morning, Curtis Ryan. Congratulations. Hi, Curtis Ryan. I just brought my new Honda in for the first free oil change and they're even washing it. We got such a great deal on that car and everyone here is so easy to work with. Thank you, Curtis Ryan. For a limited time, your first month's payment is on us, up to $500 on select 2012 models. Call Curtis Ryan and Shelton for details. As Network Group, we are committed to offering simple and meaningful solutions to your complex problems. We work hard to achieve the highest levels of quality in our solutions to help your customers meet their challenging business needs. We're committed to delivering technology management solutions that offer security, reliability, availability, and performance. Visit our website, thebusinessnetworkgroup.com, for more information. Oyster River Petroleum, proud sponsor of high school athletics right here on SportingNewsCT.com. If you're looking for good old-fashioned customer service, call Oyster River Petroleum and the Grandfield family. They've been around since 1987.
bar closes and you feel like falling down, I'll carry you home tonight. All right, right back here at the Bennett Rink. See the goat, uh, Notre Dame Green Knights coming onto the ice. Darianne has made their appearance as we settle in for the third period of play. Shots on goal in favor of Notre Dame, 21 to 10. Boy, Darianne only four shots in the second period, although they carried the play. Had a two-man advantage for uh, over a minute and a half or so, and uh, Notre Dame able to hold them off the board. Green Knights score on a uh, goal at 14:31 of the second period. Billy Bizzo. Uh, sneaking one through Mike Collins, who's been terrific. He has stopped 20 of 21 in the first period in particular. He was outstanding. And, uh, well, it's going to be an interesting third period of play between two unbeaten teams. Once again, we'll check that out-of-town scoreboard. Pretty soon we'll have uh, Airplay working with our TriCaster, and we'll be able to put these scores right up online from uh, that fine uh, high school hockey Connecticut website. And you can see them all there once we figure out how to do it. Watertown Pomperog 7-0 over Joel Barlow earlier today at the Danbury Ice Rink. Milford Co-op over Brantford 6-5 at the Northford Ice Pavilion. Sinsbury at the Enfield Twin Winks, uh, Rinks with a 5-3 win over Fermi Enfield East Granby. Glassenbury uh, with a win over Winter Farmington Avon 7-3. And the Weathersfield 5-1 over Cheshire earlier today. Some scores to report uh, to all of you fine folks out there. As we're just underway here in the third period of play. As Notre Dame will defend with Luke Amatruda in goal down to our left, icing call against Notre Dame, and down to our right, Michael Collins, the senior goalkeeper for uh, Chris Gerwig and Darianne. Of course, Bill Jarosa, longtime head hockey coach of the Green Knights, the defending Division I state champion. They'll take on Fairfield Prep Saturday. Time change for that game Saturday, by the way, if you're coming out to watch that outstanding game. There's a quick shot, and that hit the pipe as Bergen just hit the pipe off a face-off win by Hathaway. Again, Notre Dame gives up a shot on goal off a face-off in their defensive end. That has happened frequently. That's one area they'll have to shore up. Getting those shots on goals off of face-offs. 
That one hit the pipe. We nearly had a tie game. Puck back out to center. Off the left, Wensberg had his pocket picked by Vizzo. Carries across off the right wing. Vizzo centering pass intercepted by Wensberg as he got quickly back into the play. Rounds an end into the right corner. He's able to pirouette away nicely from Tebow and start down the right wing. Plays it out through the middle. It's tipped along by Judabox and then taken by Capabianco and lofted back to the Darian line. Dana Wensberg on it. Drives it down into the Notre Dame zone for an icing call on the face-off upcoming back in the Darien end. 14.02 remaining here in the third period of play, and it is 1-0 Notre Dame on the Vizzo goal. Just want to mention our good friends at Longini Sausage, family-owned business for almost 60 years. Ah, Longini Sausage, great quality products, Italian sausages and a whole bunch more. Proud sponsor right here on GoGreenNights.com. They're probably in all your local grocery stores, Longini Sausage. Mm-mm. Makes me hungry right now. This is O'Connor. Sails it cross ice. It deflects off a skate and down ice. And the puck collected by Massey. Massey turns the net to the right side. Plays it off a stick of Dumas to center. He hops along to the red line. And Francis, who's run at by Owen Korsbush, will send it back into the Darien end. Hasn't been an overly physical game. We've had some pretty good hits here and there. Puck to the line. Francis will bat it down. Keeps it in. Plays it to the far corner. Chase down on that far side by Casey Holbank getting into the game here for Notre Dame. Puck behind the net. Massey on it. Up to Judah. Mock off the left wing. Pass along to Korsbush. Deflected off his stick. Jesse Rocco takes it. He plays off a check. Carries into the zone. Throws off Judah Box. Stays with it. Judah Box gets up and played it to the wall. Hacked up by Austin. Gloved down by Massey. And played it back through center. It slid right through Patrick Francis, a junior goalkeeper, um, defenseman for Notre Dame, and Capabianco will possess. Plays it to the right wing side to Ryan Lynch. He'll send it cross ice into the corner. Cal Lynch will give it chase. Hayden Lowe is on it. He'll play it to the wall and through Capabianco. No icing, and coming out is Luke Amatuda to leave it side of the net for Lou Iannotti. Iannotti plays it up the right side wall. Taken there by Lynch, thrown to center and gloved down by Kyle Lynch. Kyle Lynch coming off the wing. Cuts into the corner, waits for help. Drops it nicely, quick shot, Collins a save on a sweeping shot by Ryan Lynch, and he'll hold on for the faceoff. Another fine stop by Collins on a pretty good setup right there. Kyle Lynch patiently waiting for Ryan Lynch and the shot on goal. As it remains, 1-0 Notre Dame. The Vizzo goal late in the second, going five hole to a partial screen. Shot it from the faceoff circle and beat Collins. That is the difference. Zulo on the puck. He spent four minutes in the penalty box back in the second. This is Tebow to play it. Deflected away and stolen by Hathaway. Leads the attack. Feed to Bergen. Bergen's hit a goal post. Bergen trying to work it past Capabianco. They go to the back wall. Pass slipped into the circle. Stolen away by Vizzo to Zulo. Zulo with speed will just tap it along and give it a chase to the backboard. Greg Zulo in the corner dances. Centers it blindly. Intercepted by Bergen. Bergen gave it away in the high slot. Vizzo to Zulo. Tebow, backhander, saved by Collins. They all touched at that time. And nice save by Collins as he read the flow of the puck brilliantly to hold on for the faceoff as he continues his fine play in net for Dan Rianne here. 11.44 remaining in the third. Notre Dame leading it by the score of one to nothing. This is an interesting faceoff taking place down in the Dan Rianne zone. Marco tried to advance it towards goal. In the corner, spun around as alarm. He's knocked down. Taken by Dumas to the line to Francis. Francis shot, rattles off a skate, stolen away. And we got a penalty up coming here to Patrick Francis as he just tripped up. Owens Korsbush in the puck into the corner. Francis will touch and will have the penalty call. Fourth consecutive penalty called against the Green Knights. This one for tripping. It comes here in the third period and gives Darien yet another power play. Over three in their power play tries. I uh, just want to say hello to uh, Cameron Hotchkiss, who's home uh, with a bug, not feeling well, and uh, we wish you the best there, Cameron, and they certainly miss you out in the ice. He has been a uh, mighty force along the blue line for Notre Dame, perhaps playing uh, his finest hockey in a Notre Dame uniform here in uh, 2012-13. He has been sensational, and uh, not in uniform, not here tonight, uh, due to the sickness and probably watching on GoGreenNights.com. So we say hello to you. Here comes Hathaway down the wing. He's into the zone. Hathaway with a shot and a stretching stick save by Luke Amatuda. Clears it over the glass on the far side. So we'll have a face-off upcoming. 
with 11.08 remaining in the period. 143 on this Darien power play. Bergen, Hathaway, and Knowlton on that forward line. Krasinskowitz along the blue line, along with Wensberg, as Notre Dame wins that face off, they send it down. They have penalty killers of Vizzo and Zullo up top. Iannotti and Capabianco along the blue line. This is Vizzo to control as he hustled after a loose puck. Glides back into his own zone for Notre Dame, takes a look and snaps it down ice. And again, Darianne's going to have to regroup on their power play. Version will take it, rolls off the wall, slips it up ahead to the speedy Hathaway, carries in off the wing. Hathaway squeezes through the check of Iannotti, carries behind the Notre Dame net, plays it along to Knowlton. Knowlton, the tourist, cross ice it goes. Wensberg, drive, and that hits something and might have been the stick of Luke Amatuda. Vizzo trying to play it up ice, he does. Comes off the right wing side, going to pick up Zulo. Vizzo goes for a long shot on goal, and Collins will make the save and hold on as Wensberg and Vizzo wrestle with their sticks, they joust after the whistle. So we'll have a face-off upcoming with 55 seconds remaining on the power play opportunity for Darianne, but a face-off back in the blue wave end. In the sin bin for Notre Dame, Patrick Francis for tripping. Darianne, the start from behind, it's Massey, the waters. Back behind, no, get, went right in the goal. He shot it on his goalkeeper, Collins. Waters retrieves it, plays it right side. Here they come to the middle judo box now. Judo box slips through a check. He was knocked down as he tried to elude the forward pressure there by Darren Capabianco. Well, Darian to start again with 25 seconds remaining on a power play that uh, has really struggled to get going here. This is Waters trying to lead the attack into the high slot, but he's on the backhand side. Controls, banks it back to the line of love. Goes cross ice to Massey, snaps it towards goal, deflected to the front. Look, amateur to the save on the shot by Korsbush on the doorstep. He had a wide open opportunity, and Amatuda took away the angle, and we'll have a faceoff upcoming with seven seconds remaining on the Patrick Francis penalty. Some other scores to report. St. Joe's on a bit of a roll. They beat South Windsor earlier today, 3 2, and it was East Catholic over Newtown at the Danbury Ice Rink. Two to one. Newtown will have a fundraiser for the Sandy Hook victims. And of course, they had a move, uh, the elementary school, after that tragic event just before Christmas. And uh, I guess it was the first day back for the kids today. Puck played out to center ice. This is Zulo. We'll have some details on the, on the website, sportingnewsct.com. And I would imagine. Our good friends of GoGreenKnights.com will likewise publicize that event that will take place on uh, January 12th. Puck played up by down into the Notre Dame zone, taken by Darren Capabianco. Nine minutes remaining here in the third period, and the Green Knights with a one to nothing lead over Darian. Vizzo the goal late in the second. Down the left wing comes Zulo. Zulo carries in, slows it down, plays it to Tebow, deflected it behind the net. Tebow tried to slip a pass in front, neatly played by Wensberg as he stole away and tried to spring Bergen. Instead, it goes for an icing call here against the Blue Wave and a face-off back inside their zone. 8.40 remaining in the third. Dr. Dame trying to hold on to uh, what should be uh, their top ranking in the state of Connecticut. Fairfield Prep most certainly will get some votes as a top team, as they always do. Those two teams will collide on Saturday here at the Bennett Rink. We'll have it right here on GoGreenKnights.com. Face-off win, and Lynch with a shot, and the save by Collins is Ryan Lynch with an opportunity. Eric Austin to take the face-off against Hathaway. Off the drop, Lynch gets it again, throws it towards the net. It carries into the far corner, Jack Massey on it. Massey trying to work it up the wall. He's backed off the puck. Taken by Hathaway, good feed, no, too far ahead of Knowlton and waiting for it at centers O'Connor. Give it away to Hathaway. Hathaway trying to settle down the puck. He's into the zone, tried to slip around the defense. He does, and Amatruda with a great glove save. What a move by Brandon Hathaway and a better save by Luke Amatruda. I'll tell you, he needed to make that one as Hathaway was dazzling on that rush up by. That was not an easy rush as he really had to settle down a difficult puck to handle and then a great shot on goal and Amatruda with the glove with a big save. So 
It remains 1-0 Notre Dame, 8-13 remaining in the period. This is Capabianco, long lead, too far ahead of Hoban, and that's going to go down ice for an icing call against Notre Dame. Another faceoff upcoming. So this game continues with Notre Dame leading it 1-0. 13-6 shot totals in the first in favor of Notre Dame, 8-4 in the second. Total of uh, 21 shots on goal for the Green Knights and 10 for Darien. Off the faceoff, Waters will keep it in. Gave it away to Jesse Rocco. Rocco will play it back to the Darien line. Alam is waiting for it. Feeds it along to Judah Box. Carries in. Judah Box drops it neatly. Waters, a backhand pass, but he lofted it behind his on-rushing teammate. And it was gloved down, cleared away by Iannotti. Taken by Capabianco and just flipped back the other way. It will saucer down ice and no icing to be called. Massey wraps it around the Waters. Waters will take a look and played it up. The center intercepted by Rocco as he has his stick on the ice and plays it back into the Darien zone. Darien trying to get it going again off the right side. Hathaway lofts at the center. Iannotti awaits and gloves it down and controls. Stick handles across the blue line to the right wing side. Into the circle. Centering pass to Tebow. Can't get the shot off. Got a back shot. Score! Kyle Tebow on a second effort goal makes it two to nothing. Notre Dame. Well, Tebow miffed on his first try, got the puck back, and fires it home. And Notre Dame will take the 2-0 lead here in the second period with 7.15 remaining. So Notre Dame leading it 2-0. 7.45 time of the goal here in the third period of play. Here comes the announcement on the goal. Let's see if there will be an assist doled out. Yep, Lou Iannotti with the helper. Iannotti with two assists now. Had the assist on the Vizzo goal. 7.45 the precise time of the tally. So Notre Dame leads it 2 to nothing. Puck sail cross ice and down into the Notre Dame end. Patrick Francis to chase it down. Quickly plays it back out. No, can't. Bergen will steal it. Bergen's hauled down. Puck into the high slot. Tebow wraps at it and control. Tebow plays it around to Francis. Francis trying to play it up the boards. Hit into the wall. Marianne trying to get something going. They center it. Quick shot. Knowlton. And Amatuda makes a save as Jackie Knowlton didn't get much on it that time. Shot it right in to the goaltender. Just want to mention uh, New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates. Yes, indeed. Led by five outstanding doctors, including Notre Dame graduates David and Robert Novicki. They're affiliated with the three major New Haven area hospitals and accept most health insurance partners. Go GreenKnight.com sponsor. New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates. Off the wing, it's Lynch. Kyle Lynch will center it, looking for the trailer. Eric Austin deflected away. Austin back behind the Ryan Lynch. Torn off his stick and played along by Lotus. The blue line kept in by the aggressive play of Ryan Lynch and played it back behind the Darian net. Lowe will get to it again on the far side. Try to poke it up the wall, kept in by Capabianco. Shot to a screen, and Collins might have got a piece of that one. Puck into the corner, Kyle Lynch digging after it. Good work here by this Notre Dame line. Finally taken by Davis of Darien, but he couldn't clear it out. Long shot from the blue line as well wide off the stick of Iannotti. Iannotti with two assists here tonight. Notre Dame leading it 2 to nothing. down under six minutes remaining. Capabianco shot to the front of the net, and that's cleared away. Notre Dame finding their rhythm now. Capabianco played it back. That's going to be intercepted by Lowe, and up it comes Purdue. Played it along to Davis. Sent down into the Notre Dame end as Darian making a line change for head coach Chris Gerwick. Knocked out on the play with Capabianco. Fed it along to Iannotti. The center is going to be intercepted. And Korsbush right back in. Three on one. The pass to Gerda blocks. It's into his skates. Waters couldn't find him. Couldn't find a good passing angle. I think we may have a penalty upcoming here to Notre Dame as they have an arm up. No, nope, not a penalty on Notre Dame. Going to be a penalty on Darianne here. That puck was in some skates, had to wait a second. Hooking will be the call, and it's going to go against Darianne and give the Green Knights their second power play opportunity here. Hooking will be the call. Time of the penalty here in the third, coming at the 10-minute mark, and into the sin bin is a Robbie uh, Judabox, the junior forward. Judebach will slam that penalty door. I do that at my house. The whole house shakes. This rink is solid. 
I don't do it too often. Zulo to control in the corner. Zulo back to the line left side. Iavine slips it along to Iannotti. Iannotti holds, plays it back behind the net. Tebow, who scored here in the third to make it 2 to nothing Notre Dame, lays it off to Vizzo. He scored the game's first goal. Vizzo into the circle, shot, save, rebound on the doorstep. Collins will cover as Tebow is poking at it. Then he's hit by Nicky Alam. Face-off upcoming. 4.36 remaining here in the third period of play. Just want to mention uh, Zingaro and Quitella. Can't say this as well as the athletic director uh, at uh, Notre Dame, uh, Tom Marcucci, but I'll give it a try. Uh, many times bad things happen to good people, things you can't prepare for, and uh, what do you do? Well, you call Zingaro and Quitella for those reasons. They can help you out. So Zingaro and Quitella Law Firm. Here's a shot deflected away. Donald Quitella graduate of Notre Dame back in 1986 and they will certainly help you out and advise you the way you need to be advised. That is uh, Zingaro and Quitella. Face off upcoming. Two, uh, 4.28 remaining here in the third. Capabianco from the blue line. Notre Dame on the power play for another 122. This is Zulo top of the circle. Into the circle. Plays it into the corner. Tebow with some room to maneuver. Plays it on the cycle to Zulo. Back to the line to Capabianco. Takes a look. Pass along. Quick shot. Vizzo's shot goes wide. Now they find Zulo again. Zulo cross ice. It was tipped away by Iannotti, who was uh, setting the screen out top. And will have a face-off upcoming. 4.03 remaining here in the third. Notre Dame leading it by the score 2 to nothing. Trying to remain unbeaten. Darianne likewise. Blue Wave have only played four games. Notre Dame has played a total of six. Notre Dame at 6-0. Six and oh, and Darianne coming in at 3-0-1. and one. Puck into the Notre Dame at. They get 55 seconds on their power play trot. They're 0 for 1. Darian is 0 for 4 in their power play. Notre Dame holding the shot on goal. War through two periods, 21-10. And on the scoreboard, they lead this game 2 to nothing. Vizzo and Tebow, the goal scores. Scored late in the second at 14-31. Vizzo from Iannotti. And uh, it was Tebow here in the third from Iannotti at 7.45. Capabianco, the Vizzo. 23 seconds remaining on their power play. Vizzo carries to the corner, plays off the Winsberg check. Cuts behind the net, plays it back to the line left side. Capabianco back to Vizzo. Vizzo cross ice to Zulo, intercepted by Hathaway. It's a two on one with Bergen. Pass to Bergen coming off the right wing side, and his pass interrupted, knocked down by a sliding Capabianco. And now we get a whistle with players hauled down all over the ice. Capabianco, I believe, is going to go here. I didn't see what happened. It looks like it's going to be matching penalties as Bergen uh, was battling with Capabianco. So we'll get the calls. They're going to be matching penalties. Won't really affect anything on the ice. They come at exactly the 12-minute mark. So Bergen to go, Capabianco to go. Face out back in the Notre Dame men. Penalty time, by the way, has expired on the penalty to Judah Box. He is out of the sin bin. So we'll put some fresh bodies in there. And we're going to get a timeout on the ice. So it looks like Darian, the blue wave, calling a timeout with three minutes left. They trail by the score two to nothing. With that, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with more right here on GoGreenKnights.com. New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates specialize in medical and surgical care of the foot and ankle. They have a state-licensed surgical center with a physical therapy center available for all patients. Physicians include Notre Dame graduates David and Robert Novicki, along with Martin Pressman, James Krantz, and Jesse Parks. They are affiliated with the three major New Haven area hospitals, and they participate with most health insurance carriers. With locations in New Haven, Hamden, Milford, and Ansonia, New Haven Foot Surgeons and Milford Podiatry Associates is your GoGreenNight.com connection to healthier feet. Visit them online at milfordpodiatry.com. All right, welcome right back here. Time out just about over. Good look at the Green Knights of Notre Dame on the far side. Once again, if you're planning on coming out to uh, quite a battle, it could be between two unbeatens, Fairfield Prep and Notre Dame, the way things are going here tonight, as Notre Dame with a 2 nothing lead over Darianne and a battle for the top spot, I guess, in the polls. 
which are just for fun, folks. I know I got in trouble uh, for my vote during the uh, football season on the final poll and took some heat for that stuff, but uh, we all have our reasons, right? But anyhow, uh, <laughs> it sells the newspapers, and it's fun to look at. But uh, they'll decide it on the ice on Saturday, Fairfield Prep and Notre Dame, who might be the best team in the state of Connecticut. That game has been changed from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, by the way. We'll have it on GoGreenKnights.com. This is Tebow, leads the attack for Notre Dame across the line, throws it in on goal, and Collins will hold on for the faceoff. By the way, just to bring you up to a date, Capabianco in the sin bin with Burgeon, both for roughing at the 12-minute mark. Does not affect the skaters on the ice, still five on five in front of the goaltenders with 2.52 remaining here in the third period. Scott Duff might be at home, convalescing and watching the game today. Our outstanding cameraman who helps us out with all the Cheshire games, and hopefully he's feeling much better as the day moves on. This is Zulo, centers it, put it on the doorstep, and then it's poked up over the crossbar by Tebow. It's Collins left a rebound. He hasn't done that too often. Buck back into the corner, battle for it. Tebow trying to get to it, taken away off his stick by Alam. Play to the line. Ionati will keep it in. His little juggling act off the end of the stick. Taken by Hathaway. He's going to spring a pass out the center. Taken there by Purdue. Turn to the boards by Tebow. They continue to joust for that puck. Comes to the line. Zulo will keep it in. Propel it off the backboard. Sticked along by Collins and left there for Massey. Massey advancing, stops, looks, fires a long pass right onto the tape of Iovine. He gave it away at center of the Hathaway. Hathaway ran into traffic with Zulo and Vizzo right there. Drop pass, quick shot by Waters, saved by Amatruda, who has been called upon to make a couple of dandy saves here in the third, not only to preserve a 1-0 lead at one time, but a shutout bit here. Hathaway over to Massey, shot through a screen, blocked away, wrap pass, pass out front, and there you go. Another stop by Amatruda on the Knowlton opportunity. So Darianne with a good combination of passing. Now it comes over to Hathaway. Off the left wing side. Hathaway looks. Shot off the skate of Iovine. 138 remaining. They have pulled the goaltender down to our right. The extra attacker is on for Darianne. That's why they call the timeout to talk about that strategy. Extra attacker coming on is Korsbush. Now it's Knowlton behind the net. 126 remaining here in the third period. Notre Dame leading it. Iannotti will poke it up ice. Zulo takes a look. He's got Vizzo. Wide open net to shoot at. He shoots. He scores. Notre Dame takes a 3-0 lead on a goal by Gregory Zulo into the open net. Not a big fan of pulling goaltenders for that reason right there. When it works, obviously, everybody, everybody loves it, but I don't know. So Zulo with the goal. Time of that goal is going to be 13.45. Here comes the announcement. Iannotti should pick up the helper. Yep, Iannotti the helper. Three assists today for Lou Iannotti. Iannotti having a fine game at both ends of the ice. He has been solid for the Green Knights. So they lead it 3-0, under a minute remaining here in the game. Francis will play it down into the Darien end. So the Green Knights of Notre Dame will improve to seven wins and no losses here in the early part of the season. And uh, we get a whistle, and Waters is going to go as the two penalized players, Capabianco and Bergen, will step up. They had to wait for a stoppage in play, and we'll see some matching penalties. Looks like Jesse Rocco is going to go for Notre Dame. And as we mentioned, Tommy Waters into the penalty box for Darianne. So they both go. So it doesn't affect the skaters on the ice again. That's going to be 14 minutes, 14 seconds is Notre Dame. Yeah, roughing, to, roughing will be the call on each side. This is Lynch has had a nice game. Into the high slot, poked off his stick, stays with it to the far board, plays it behind the Kyle Lynch. He's bodied off the puck, and it's controlled by Darian. Trzenskowicz will play it up ice, down ice it goes. No icing call, 16 seconds remaining in the game. Notre Dame's going to improve to 7-0. and Actually, yeah. Well, they got 7-0 down there. They must be 7-0 already, uh, unless they got the score up there in prediction. Maybe that's what it is. And, yeah, they already got them up there uh, <laughs> winning by the score 3-0. Someone's got to be watching on GoGreenKnights.com. Maybe someone tweeted it along. But, anyways, they already got it up. They did that to me last time. 
I took a look. So Notre Dame improves a 7-0 as they beat Darien by the score of 3-0. Here's the shots on goal. And Matruda facing six shots in the third, a total of 16 overall. So Amatruda the shutout win, stopping 16 shots. And for Notre Dame, uh, they score twice here in the third, right? So the total of 29 shots on goal. So 29-16 is shots on goal total. So the next test for Notre Dame at 7-0 will be Fairfield Prep as uh, the Jesuits are coming in unbeaten at 6-0. So it should be a good one. Once again, the game time has been changed Saturday. Notre Dame West Haven and Fairfield right here at the Bennett Rink to 2 o'clock, and we'll have it for you. All right, let's take one break and hear from our GoGreenNight.com sponsors, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll recap the scoring for you right here on GoGreenNight.com. Considering an orthodontic treatment for you or your children, Dr. Philip Caparuso, a Notre Dame parent of four, is conveniently located at the end of the Milford Green. Dr. Caparuso is a board-certified orthodontist and a preferred Invisalign provider. A proud GoGreenKnight.com sponsor, you can visit Dr. Caparuso online at drcaportho.com or call 203-874-5400. Let Dr. Caparuso bring out your best smile. All right, welcome right back here to the Bennett Rink. Take a look down below as Bill Jarosa and Chris Gerwig, uh, two fine, fine friends, uh, talking about the game that just ended. Fine win for Notre Dame as they win 3 to nothing over Darien. Probably talking about strategy about the next time they might meet each other. Who knows? But uh, it was an interesting game. It was a scoreless first period in which uh, Notre Dame outshot Darien 13-6. to And uh, it was really they might call and show in the first period. Absolutely spectacular uh, for Darien. In the second period, it took a long time before Notre Dame would light the lamp. It took the 1431 of the second period on a goal by Billy Vizzo, as Vizzo just snuck one right through uh, Michael Collins on a shot from the faceoff circle on the left side. Lou Iannotti picked up the first of his three assists in the game for the Green Knights of Notre Dame. Big moment in that second period is when uh, Darianne had a two-man advantage for about a minute 25, maybe a minute 32 or so, right around there, and uh, came up empty as Notre Dame killed it off. Notre Dame would kill off another penalty in the second period, so Darianne 0 for 3 on their power play tries in the second period. Then you had that Vizzo goal. In the third, it was uh, Kyle Tebow scoring for Mayanati at 7.45 as he uh, had a couple of shots at it from the Slot and was able to beat Michael Collins and then uh, uh, Zulo into the open net. Greg Zulo with the assist going to Iannotti at 13.45. We had some matching penalties uh, in the third period, but uh, Darian, I believe, 0 for 4 in their power play tries. Notre Dame goes 0 for 2 shots on goal. 29-16 in favor of the Green Knights. They improved to 7-0 for Darian. They fall to 3 one and one, but a very competitive game between the two. Special thanks to all our sponsors, Ingaro and Cotella, New Haven Foot Surgeons, Milford Podiatry, uh, Longini Sausage, Ivy League Landscaping, Federico and Seti, Curtis Ryan, Honda, Dr. Philip Caparuso, the Business Network Group, and our newer sponsor, DKM Painting, and Notre Dame's own Donald Martone, class of 87. Special thanks Nick Minori and the gang behind the scenes here on GoGreenKnights.com. We'll see you again on Saturday as we double dip we do. We bring you hockey in the afternoon and the alumni band on Saturday night on GoGreenKnights.com. Final score one more time. Notre Dame 3 and Darianne nothing. Goodbye, everybody. For the last 10 years, Federico and Seti has served individuals and business clients throughout the Northeast. Originally founded by Mark Federico, class of 72, the current principals are Michael Federico, Notre Dame class of 82, and Lynn Seti, Sacred Heart Academy class of 82. Providing accounting, tax, audit, and consulting services, Federico and SETI is the perfect company for your personal, corporate, estate, and gift tax returns. A proud sponsor of GoldGreenKnights.com, call Federico and SETI at 203-248-9966 for all your accounting needs.